When you think of an interviewer, you most likely just think of the questions they pose. Or, you know, you think of complete assholes because, let's be real here, a lot of interviewers are dicks. Well, for example, rage against uh, Evander Holyfield worked against you. Well, f*** it. It's a fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. What I'm getting at here is no one really watches interviews for the interviewer. They watch them for the interviewee. This is because pretty much all interviewers do the same thing, essentially. They ask questions that have probably been asked more than once before. But in this wasteland of clone interviewers who have next to nothing going for them, there is one man, one legend, whose eccentric personality has touched the hearts of millions. This is the story of Nardwar. Nardwar started his media presence at the University of British Columbia radio station in Vancouver. Ever since then, his show has been running every Friday afternoon since 1987. Now that's some dedication. Around this time, Nardwar began doing interviews, and despite interviewing being a daunting thing, he was enthusiastic and you can really see a little bit of what he later became in these early interviews. He interviewed a lot of people for different things, and he would even ask politicians critical questions like this. Do you think, Mr. Kretchen, if you were, say, 40 years younger, that you too would be writing punk songs and protesting against APEC? But for me, uh, in a democracy, people protest. I have, I, I've been protested a few times in my lifetime, and with a lot of people at times. That's democracy. I did that myself too when I was a student. And uh, now I'm no more a student. And I, but I accept the fact that people will protest and we had organized an area where they could express their views. And, uh, but at the same time, we had to run the meeting properly. Do you think though that mace equals freedom? Some of the protesters were maced. What do you say? Some of the protesters were maced. Does mace equal freedom? Would you, would you have been maced yourself back then, Prime Minister Kretchen? But, but I don't know what you mean by that. A mace, pepper spray, some other members of Oh, but of I don't know. This technique did not exist in those days. For me, Pepper, I put it on my plate. Yeah, no wonder he stopped interviewing politicians, man. Like, who gave this dum-dum any power? During these early interviews, Nardwar would sometimes even get assaulted or ridiculed. It seemed like people just couldn't understand Nardwar's personality, finding him annoying. Despite all of this, Nardwar showed resilience in the face of adversity, and through lots and lots of hard work, he eventually became respected by millions. He always put an incredible amount of effort into his research, leading him to asking questions to interviewees that leave them shocked. Despite so many obstacles blocking his way, including seizures, temporary paralysis, a stroke, and surgeries, he stayed his eccentric and enthusiastic self, never letting anything get in the way of his oddball personality. He is also incredibly drippy, 